Morning and welcome to day seven of lockdown here in Palma, Mallorca. Uh, it's uh, first thing in the morning. I'm about to wake and fluffy and get on with the lesson. So, okay, let's uh, let's open the curtains. It's a bit of a cloudy day. Fluffy, fluffy, oh, fluffy. Fluffy, Fluffy, oh Fluffy, oh, don't they look so sweet and innocent when they're asleep? Fluffy, I'm about to start the lesson. Oh, maybe I shouldn't disturb him, he's probably been out all night with his werewolfy friends. They say they're uh, not, uh, the, the, the lockdown doesn't apply to werewolves. I don't know if that's true or not. Anyway, I wonder what he's dreaming about. Fluffy. Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. Fluffy, Fluffy, I am your Lord and Master, and you must agree to do everything I say. Do you understand? Uh, oh no, Fluffy, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, God. Fluffy, no. <laughs> well, the weather's turned nasty, so uh, I might as well stay in and do my lesson. Okay, here we go. Right, we're in a different room. We're in the lounge today. Here are the uh, here's the drawing that I did in yesterday's lesson of the bear. Uh, I've coloured them up a bit with the watercolour. And that's the bear in his pyjamas yawning. Okay, so now I've got to work out the design of the comic strip and uh, do the inking stage. Okay. Point. Okay, so the first thing I do, it's a three panel comic strip, the rectangular format, split into three. So the first panel is the two bears are in bed. They've just woken up after hibernating. One of them is getting out of bed to see uh, if the newspapers arrived. I think that's right. Okay, so we've got, there's a calendar on the wall telling them it's March, right? There's posters of Liverpool all over the place. They've got Liverpool duvets and they're big Liverpool fans, right? So I can put the Liverpool logo in there somewhere. So um, one of the bears is kind of going, oh, uh, what's, is it time to wake up yet or something? And the other one is throwing back the covers and leaping out of bed and saying, let's see if, if Liverpool have won the cup, uh, won the league, uh, and by how much, right? That's what he's saying. So that's him. I think that's pretty good. So that's one of them. I'll just tick this in really roughly so that just it, this is just at this stage to give me an idea of the position of everything and then I'll draw it all up properly so bed I might do the uh, snow white thing uh, of having their names on the bed so it's Bobby and Billy or whatever it was something like that so uh, okay so he's getting out of bed and the other one is still half asleep in the other bed. Right, something like that. Yeah, so we need to see a calendar, could be there. And then posters of Liverpool around the walls. Uh, we also need to leave room for the panel at the top. And two word balloons, one from him and one from him. All right. So now the next panel it's a smaller panel because it's just the one bear looking at the newspaper. So, and his eyes popping out of his head. So, because uh, he's amazed that. Uh, okay, so we need to see the newspaper headline. So it's going to have to be a slightly oblique angle. So he's shocked at seeing the. Uh, I might have a jagged borderline. I like jagged borderlines. It goes back to uh, when I used to read. Um, Eagle and uh, TV21 comics when I was a kid and one of my favourite artists was Frank Bellamy 
who used to do Thunderbirds and Heroes the Spartan, and he would always have really dynamic, zigzaggy borderlines, which I really liked. So anyway, that's that one. And then panel three is the, the payoff. So the bear comes back to bed. I'm not sure about this. I'll better use a pencil on this. Got to work it out. So the other bear's in bed still, and this bear comes back to bed saying it's all a bad dream or something like that. So it might be nice if he's throwing the newspaper away over his shoulder with, with disdain, because it's obviously wrong. And, uh, and he's just saying, yeah, go back to sleep, it's a bad dream. Yeah, we're all thinking that at the moment. Uh, okay, so he's getting back into bed. Newspaper on the floor, bed, base. The other bear looking a bit surprised. All right, so that's all I need to plan it out. Now the next stage is for me to start drawing them these panels up. So uh, a, a side pause while I uh, get the the uh, pens and ink. Okay, stage two. I've decided to ink the middle picture of the three as it's the simplest and therefore the quickest. So uh, basically I use a dip pen, the old ancient method of drawing by dipping it into a bottle of ink and drawing it. So um, now I've changed the angle slightly on the bear. So I wanted to give it maximum, you know, maximum uh, effect as, as he's looking very shocked at the appalling situation out there. So uh, as you will see there, I, I've changed the angle a bit to this one, which I think is better. Now I'm going to give the newspaper a jiggy -jig jaggedy edge to make it look like a, a newest paper. And, uh, okay, that's his hand holding it. Big claws, as we mentioned before. And they have the edge of the other side. Okay, is, that, is that how it's, yeah. It's the right angle, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, there's the newspaper. I will put in the lettering using Photoshop later. But uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do the ink stage. So, all right. This is his pyjamas, which I'd like to add uh, a pyjama pattern or little pictures of, uh, of a bear, a famous bear like Rupert or something. I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that. Uh, it depends on the copyright. Situation. So, um, right, he's got his big belly sticking out uh, and the pants sort of drawstring pants. Uh, now, as a, as a second thought, I decided I, I'd like to get his bum in because uh, it'd be nice to show his tail um, reacting by, you know, sticking it, sticking out in, uh, in surprise. Um, okay, this is his clawy feet. Now, uh, at the bottom of the door, uh, I might show, show some letters, which might be quite cute, on the doormat. Let's have a doormat. We can't see that angle. Let's move the angle. That's better. Okay, so I'm just basically drawing a, draw, a doormat there. Now, he's, got, he's having a major Tex Avery kind of reaction to the news on the cover of the news paper. So, his... Uh, his mouth is going to be wide in shock, like that, in surprise, with his fur all sticking out. Let's do his teeth. Let's put in the other arm, like that. Right, so his, his nose, I'll, I'll colour the nose blue or something, so um, I've could, I can add his nostril, otherwise if it was all black you wouldn't see the nostril. Right, so... His eyes are popping out on stalks in true Tom and Jerry Tex Avery styley. Oh God, I've got him! I've got him! Smudge it! This is the curse of the left hander, you know. Um, 
Okay, so all fur sticking up, fur on his head sticking up most. Uh, and I'll probably do one of these, you know, expression, shock surprise expression -y, zigzaggy things. Uh, and his tongue sticking out as well. Uh, something like this. And then what I will do after this little demo is I will, um, I'll then carry on drawing the other uh, two panels of the strip. And when the ink's dry, I will uh, rub, rub out the pencil lines and scan it into the computer, either using my mobile phone or my R scanner. If it's working, it's a temperamental beast. Um, and uh, there we nearly pretty much have it. So I might give him some eyelashes. Uh, I might give him some spittle, just to emphasize the shock horror on his face. And, uh, and that's kind of it for the second panel. Yeah, so, um, whoops. So there we have panel two. As you can see from the rough, it's this one, but I've changed the angle quite a bit to emphasize the shock horror. Okay, uh, I think that'll do for the demonstration today. And then tomorrow, as I say, I will... Uh, I'll be colouring it up and you'll see the finish, finished, finished version of this three panel comic strip for Match of the Day magazine. I hope it's still going. Okay, uh, see you tomorrow. I'll just, I'll just see if Fluffy's awake. Ah, well, Fluffy, you're awake. Yes, your lordship. Were you having nice dreams? Yes, your lordship. What were you dreaming about? Something nice, I hope. Oh, yes, your lordship. I was dreaming about you. About me? How lovely. And how much I love you. Oh, that's ever so nice. I'm glad we're friends again, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll uh, see you tomorrow, won't we, uh, Fluffy? Yes, we will. Give us a kiss. No, we're not allowed to do that. Go away. See you tomorrow. No, I'm not going stir-crazy. I'm completely sane.